Hi there. Do you know what this guy is? The function int of x? I seem to forget what it is every six months or so. Maybe just because there are so many math words starting with int. It's a sort of rounding function, but it doesn't just round in the normal way. It specifically rounds down. So, for example, if you were asked to round the number 2.7, you might say, well, that rounds up to 3, since that's the nearest integer. This int function would round 2.7 down. So, if we put 2.7 into that int function, it rounds it down to 2. This is called the greatest integer function, or sometimes the floor function. And if you want a slightly more rigorous definition of how it works, here it is right there. Don't worry about it if you don't understand what that notation means. You'll be able to understand what the function does just fine. But as a quick explanation of this, this says the greatest integer function of a real number x is the maximum of all integers that are less than or equal to x. That's why it's called the greatest integer function. That might seem a little weird because like here we round down, but what it's doing is giving us the greatest integer that's less than or equal to the input, which is why it's sometimes called the floor function as well. It's like it drops the input to the nearest floor. So as another example, what about int of 10.9? 10.9 is pretty close to 11. 11 is the closest integer, but 11 is greater than 10.9. And remember, the greatest integer or floor function outputs the greatest integer that's less than or equal to the input. So again, simply put, it just rounds down. It's gonna output 10. What if you put in an integer? What about the greatest integer function evaluated at negative two? Rounding down to the nearest integer, well, negative two is already an integer, so negative two is the nearest integer that's less than or equal to negative two. There's also another cute notation for this function that's more evocative of the floor function name, and I prefer this notation. It looks kind of like absolute value of x, but you just slap a floor on the absolute value bars, so it looks like that. That's the same function we've been talking about. So the floor, or greatest integer, function evaluated at pi, floor of pi, int of pi, however you want to say it. What's this? It rounds pi down to the nearest integer. Pi is a little over 3, so this is equal to 3, which might please some of my engineers in the audience. Now, the greatest integer, or floor function, also has a nice graph, so let's take a quick look at that. The graph of the int function looks something like that. You can see how when x is between 0 and 1, all of those numbers are being rounded down to 0. So when evaluated at 0, the output is 0, which is why there's a filled in circle there at the origin. But once we get to 1, all of a sudden the function jumps up to a value of 1, which is why there's an empty circle there at x equals 1. and we can see it jumps into that filled in circle. So like 0.999, that rounds down to zero. But when we finally get to one, then int of one, or the floor function of one, is one. Same thing happens between one and two. Everything rounds down to one, 1.1, 1 1.4, 1 1 1.6, 7, 8, 9, until you get to two, where the function jumps up to two. Similar things happen going into the negative direction. If you wanna see some quick examples of the negative inputs, what would int of negative 0.3 be? Well, the greatest integer that's less than or equal to this one is negative one, and so it gets rounded down to negative one. You can see that in our graph. Negative 0.3 is, you know, around here, and you can see the function has a value of what's supposed to be negative one. Hopefully my graph is convincing. And if you're studying calculus, this function also makes for a good introduction to one-sided limits and where the two-sided limit might not exist. 
For example, if we look at an integer value like x equals two, as we approach x equals two from the left, the function takes on a value of one because values like 1.9 and 1.99 are still being rounded down to one. But as we approach x equals two from the right, values like 2.01 and 2.001, those are being rounded down to two. So we would say that the left-hand limit at x equals two is one. However, the right-hand limit at x equals two is two. And so the two-sided limit, which we would just write as the limit of the function as x approaches two, doesn't exist. There's what I just said written down. The limit of the function as we approach two from the left is one, but as we approach two from the right, the limit is two. Since the one-sided limits are different, the limit simply as x approaches two does not exist. Again, plain and simple, this greatest integer function, which is sometimes written like this and sometimes written like this, just rounds the input down to the nearest integer. It's sometimes called the floor function, and you should be able to recognize and use both of these notations. Pretty cool function. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions, excuse me, down in the comments. I could have had more success if I retired my romancing. I could have had more